Microsoft Copilot on the Edge browser has a hidden feature nobody's talking about that I'm gonna use to make money online. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how. This is the same type of feature other companies are charging like $100 to $500 a month for access to. In fact, ChatGPT has a version where you have to be at the $200 a month level or more. So yeah, what you're about to learn is super valuable. And I realize it's been quite some time since we've dug into Microsoft Copilot and the Bing AI platform. And today we got a doozy. We're gonna show you how this AI agent enabled browser is going to help you be more productive, make more money, and stay on top of your affiliate marketing content creation game. So if you're excited, smash the like button. Let's fire up the computer and I'll show you exactly how I'm making money with Microsoft Copilot in the Edge browser. Come on, let's go to work. All right, so let's dive in and take a look at this Microsoft Copilot. It's been a while since we've talked about this, but I think the Microsoft suite of tools is far ahead of many other tools out there. Why? Because it's actually embedded into what we're doing. So it'll work in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all these other tools where it'll actually help you alongside of them. I think that's where Microsoft has an edge above any other AI tool out there is they're already on your computer. So when they come out with AI enabled windows, which they're starting to hint at now, you're going to see that this is a big game changer. Now, you've probably seen if you've used the Copilot browser, it looks like this in most cases, where it'll pop up and slide over on the side. Now, this is the basic run of the mill Copilot. If we actually go through and look at the new one, you could see it has actions availability where it can actually go through and purchase things or check out sites and things for you, more of like an agentic type of thing where you can enable that. Now, for me personally, I'm not going to enable that because I don't want it to access all of the stuff that it has access to as a browser. The next one we're gonna look at that I am going to enable is the journeys and things like that, where it'll remember certain things. Now, the cool thing I like about Microsoft is you can seemingly toggle these on and off, which will go through and like, I can use it for a certain point and then not for a certain point. So looking at that's kind of cool. What I'm really interested in here is being able to turn Copilot mode on. Let me show you the difference here and what this works and some of the things that we're gonna use to actually make money and build a business with. Now again, remember, I've been doing this for 25 years. The average person trying to make money online or build a business online makes nothing. So we need to remember this is a business. There's risk, there's reward. Most people struggle, most people make nothing. However, with that said, in the age of AI, I think there's a lot of tools out there for the right people that wanna to learn to use them. I think it'll help you build a business in a real world way as it has with mine. So super important here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and enable the Copilot mode. You're gonna see it'll have the new tab page, which this is very important. It'll be able to turn on journeys and also explore actions. Then of course you can go in and toggle the different uh, preferences and themes and things like that. Now, once you enable Copilot, you're gonna see that the icon actually changes and now it's like a little drop down. Now, one of the things I noticed here is it'll actually code right in the page, which is really good. Now, why is this different from like ChatGPT or any other AI tool? Well, the reason is, is it's actually looking at what you're looking at. So this content, this chat, is actually talking about the page that I'm on and the different browser tabs that I have open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this as my make money with AI helper. Okay, we're gonna go through and take a look at how these work. Now, I also noticed that it is it does have the ability to mention different tabs. Like if I hit at, it'll actually show me the different tabs that are available that it'll actually see and be able to provide content on, which is really cool. So going through here and looking at this is, is really important. Now, one of the other things that I noted is you are able to go through and see exactly where these are fitting. Okay, so this is super important. Let's talk about these capabilities and where they go. And one of the secret features that I think a lot of people are missing out on that'll help us make money in a very, very streamlined way. First of all, we have the streamlined new tab page. So if you open a new tab like this, you can see it does have a new setting where it has all these different news features based on our feed. This is where we're seeing a lot of AI tools and everything go is to an algorithmic feed rather than going and searching for what we want 
they're feeding us the stuff that they think we want. This is important and this can actually help us because we can go through and see different stories and new things and stuff like that. And you'll notice that mine is all about money and AI because that's the stuff that I've programmed it through my browsing and my history that I want. So super important there. Now going through also, we can see that it has multi-tab context analysis where we can actually go through and say, oh, hey, I want to talk about this tab over here or this tab over here. Or you can even compare them where you can compare, oh, check out this news report versus this news report and get both ideas. Very, very cool stuff. It's kind of like being able to do something like Notebook LM, but in real time while you're looking at the different tabs and the different pages that you're on. It'll automatically identify related information. It'll give you practical scenarios, enhances workflow efficiency by removing the need to tab switch and figure out where all your stuff is. Next up, we're gonna have journeys for session resumption where it'll actually go through and it'll remember your past stuff. This is big because sometimes I'll do something at home. I'll be on Google Chrome. I'll come here and I'll go to the history button and I'll be like, okay, cool. I can open my Chrome exactly like it was at home so I don't lose anything or don't forget anything. Having this in Microsoft Edge with the AI capability is super important and it's going to help us stay on task because as you guys have seen, I always have like a million different tabs open and that's barely an exaggeration and it's good to have something that can go through and help us. We can also see quick assist on page support where we can talk to the AI directly like this and figure out exactly what's on this page. I can say what is on this page and it'll understand exactly the page that I'm on and it'll tell me about it. And the cool thing about it is it keeps a running history as long as you keep it open where I could go to the next tab over here and say, now compare this page with that page. And this is very, very big stuff because I don't really have to think about it anymore or take notes or anything like that because it's actually remembering it and keeping it there. As a content creator, this is super, super important. And we get into how I use this, you're gonna see how this changes things. Now, going through Copilot Actions, this is where it's more like Manus, where it'll go through and I could say, hey, go look at a site, go test this out, go, look at all these links or whatever it is, and it'll do this in a very, very specific way. Also, they're saying that there is enhanced security and privacy controls. Again, I am very, very, very hesitant to trust AI browsers at this point. For me, I'll probably use it on a browser that I don't save all my logins on, you know, just because I, I want it to be safe. So maybe I'll have it in like, Firefox or something that I don't use, or maybe on a computer I don't use so much or something like that. Also, we have inter interaction modes where it can do quick, concise responses, think deeper, deep research, much like how ChatGPT has, because that is what is prompting this, that's what's feeding it. So looking at that's pretty cool. Now, one of the downsides was it's not able to create images. I thought, okay, and, and maybe they'll have this in the future, but it would be nice to be able to go look at a bunch of tabs and say, now make me an infographic. Now it can make the text on it or the prompt on it, but it won't do it in the actual line. That would be preferred. Now let's talk about the things that I actually like, the things that I'm going to use that are going to help us build a business and make this stuff work. First of all, I really like the feeds idea. The idea where the new tab page actually has all these feeds because I can go through, I can toggle Copilot like this. I could just clear this out and do a new chat and say, I have a make money channel, get me news items that would be good from this page. And what I would do is I would just scroll down so I get a whole bunch of stuff here so it can see more. And then when it goes through and gets that, I can have talking points. I can have little ideas that it'll say, hey, these are the things to talk about today, like Warren Buffett or Kathy Wood or whatever's going on. So it kind of gives me a summary of my feed, which is really, really cool. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to know me and know what I like. And it can go through and say, now come up with video ideas I can do for online money making based on these news items. And what it'll do is it'll actually spin it and then you can have it make you know, uh, headlines or, or titles or thumbnail ideas or something like that. So that's really cool and you can see it actually does a pretty good job of writing those things. I think this is one of the most underlooked, underutilized tools we're gonna see in the Copilot because a lot of people don't realize this feed stuff. This is a thing where I use Feedly 
I use other tools. ChatGPT just came out with one where it has a feed. But again, these are like $200 a month or more. And what I can do is I can actually go up to the top here and I can toggle the settings that I want and I could say, hey, these are the things that I want. And I can personalize by finding channels that I specifically want. So maybe I could go through and do SEO or something like that. And I can find different SEO stuff. Or I could do stuff like AI business. And I can get all kinds of AI business or, or something like that. And I'm sure they're going to be able to add our own feeds as we go along. That would be pretty cool. Um, and that will go through and help us find all this stuff. I don't know what info cards are. Okay, so these are like the little cards that you have. So I could go through and put news or something like that. Um, I can get rid of the ones I don't want. Like I wouldn't want entertainment because that's not what I do. So I could go through and kind of toggle this and make it the way I want. And then what's going to happen is I would just browse this every day and train it to what I would actually want, which is fantastic. This is something that's very underutilized. I mean, if you're in the gardening niche and you want gardening news or something like that, it'll actually keep you on top of everything, which is an absolute game changer. Also, going through and looking at that, um, remember that what we wanna do is we want something that's gonna keep us on task and keep our content fresh, and that is key. Whether you're a blogger, a video maker, whether you're posting things on social media about your niche, that's something that can work really well. And if we can train it to think like, oh, hey, find new AI prompts or something like that, I think that's really cool. Also, one of the other things that I think a lot of people haven't really realized because they forget that having the AI in the browser is still AI, but what we can do is we can have an interactive prompt window. So a lot of you guys have seen that we've been using the personality prompts here where you can go through and use these prompts to get a custom output. So if I want like a listicle, I can take this prompt, I can copy it, and I could say, okay, now make a listicle on all the news or maybe just one news item or something like that. If I was to go here, pull down the copilot, let's open a new one here and say, boom, just put the prompt in as is straight from personality prompts. What's gonna happen is now it's gonna go through and get those uh, productivity hacks. There's a different techniques top priorities. And you can see it's giving us different stuff at a different context window. And think about like if I was browsing a hundred different websites talking about sales tactics or mindset tips or something like that, I can use this on each one. And now I'm getting like a master list of all these things that I could extract and then turn into content on my own. Maybe make a a giant list or maybe get the ones that I want or have AI kind of, you know, go through them and stuff like that is really, really key. And using these alongside other stuff where I could go through and put this into Notebook LM and start getting even better data based on it as well. That's something that's absolutely going to be a game changer. Another one here is side-by-side -side coding. So if I have a site like this where I'm like, okay, I'm making this personality prompt site, I can open Copilot and say, how could I add a timer to this page? Please make the code new. And it'll go through and it'll make that code because it can see the, the source of that. And it's actually going through and making the whole page over again, which is really cool because I could, I could probably even be in my cPanel and say, hey, fix this code, copy and paste it right over, test it in real time. It's almost like having a little low level programmer right there built into your browser. Another thing we want to look at is the ability to use this to think about content and make content in a very specific way. Again, I've said many times that content structured differently can make you money. I've used that in a, in a real world way where, you know, you look at it and it's all about how you spin content. And if you train the AI or have the prompts like we have in personality prompts where you can spin them a certain way, maybe, you know, for positive or find the negative or find the comparison or whatever it is or structure it different. That can be something where you can go through and you can use Copilot to get those nuances and keep a log of what you want to talk about, which is absolutely key. Another thing you can do is use this in real time with social media posts. So like I could go to Facebook and be like, okay, these people are talking about this thing. What would be something helpful I could give them? And then how can I get them to follow me or get a download or some kind of report or go to my website or whatever it is I want them to do to become a lead? How can I do that? And what'll happen is it'll actually read 
what's on the page, which is really cool. And then of course, one of the big things I think a lot of people are gonna miss is the ability of this to remember things. Being able to know what other tabs you've been on and being able to prompt it and promote it would be very, very cool. Now, this also ties into the Copilot actual browser thing, which you, you can get down here. It's like their little dashboard, which has the ability where you could talk to it in Audible and it'll talk back to you audibly. And then it'll go through and it'll even tie into a lot of um, the different tools that you use, Microsoft Word, Excel, everything like that. And also it has these little glasses here, which allows Copilot to see what's on your screen, which is really cool. And you can see it'll you know, you could choose whichever screen you want and boom, it'll be right there working with you. So again, for programming, content creation, helping you fix your blog or something like that, this is almost like having someone hired that's overlooking what you're doing and helping you with it, which is really cool. And I think Copilot is one of the most underutilized under talked about AI tools, but it's an absolute game changer for those of us who want to build a business and get content and create things online. For creators, this is a game changer. I could go and you know open up the top channels that I like and say, oh, hey, what do they do with their thumbnails? Why are their titles working? What are their top videos? Why did this work? What didn't work? And really get an overview of the reality of what's going on by having the AI look at it with me. So if you want notes from this video and how to use Copilot, some other things that I'm doing with Copilot, go ahead and check out aiprofitscoop.com. Check out the videos in the description for more AI tools and how I'm using them to make money and smash the like button and I'll see you in the next training.